Let's begin. Hey guys, what's up? I'm really happy because I will teach you how to create a really impressive traffic lights dashboard. Okay, let's get started. In this workbook, you will need two worksheets, dashboard and calculations. In dashboard, we have a sales table with four products and the sales for each of them, which happened during the year. Also, we have a column with total sales. In cell B9, we can choose the month and it will show the sales until the month. Now, let's go to the calculation sheet. We have column B with the name of the products, column C with the sales of them and the indications of the traffic lights, red, yellow or green. Also, we will calculate the average sales and the low high range of the sales. Go back to the dashboard worksheet. Select the B9 cell. We want, with the help of data validation, to create a list of months so when we choose a month, it will calculate the total sales until this month. Go to Data and then find Data Validation and press the down arrow. You will see three choices. Choose the first uh, data validation. A new dialog box appears. From the Settings tab and the Allow option, press the down arrow and select List. We will create a list of months to choose from. The source will be the cells from C2 to N2. Press this button, select the cells. And again, press the button. Great. Press OK. And we now have a list of months. You can try it if you want. What we want to do now is when we choose a month, that month will appear with a field color cell. To do that, we will use the conditional formatting feature. The first step is to select the cells from C2 to N2. Now, from the Home tab, go to Conditional Formatting and from the down arrow, select New Rule. From Rule Type, you want to select Format Only Cells That Contains. Go to Rule Description and from the second selection, choose Equal To. In the third box, press this button and select the B9 cell. We want to format only the cell when the cell value is equal to B9. The next step is to select the color for the selected month. From the Format button, go to Fill tab, press the Fill effect and pick the red for the second color. We made a gradient fill with these two colors. OK, OK and OK again. Test it and see that it works fine. Now it's time to calculate the total sales from column O for each one of the products and until the month we will choose. We will use the functions offset and match. Offset function returns a reference to a range that is a specified number of rows and columns from a cell or range of cells. The reference that is returned can be a single cell or a range of cells. You can specify the number of rows and the number of columns to be returned. In cell T2, I have typed the syntax for the offset function. To understand how the offset function works, let's make an example. Go to cell B20 and type equal offset, then press tab and type C3 cell as the reference or starting rates if you prefer. Type comma and then 3-4 rows. It means move down 3 rows. Negative numbers mean move up. Type comma and 2 for columns. It means move to the right 2 columns. Negative numbers mean move to the left. Hit enter. The function returns 207 or the E6 cell which is the correct. The match function searches for a specified item 
in a range of cells and then returns the relative position of that item in a range. For example, go to cell B21 and type the formula equal match parenthesis 70 comma C3 to N3 comma 0 close parenthesis and hit enter. Good. The formula returns the number 1 because 1 is the first item in the range. Go to cell O3 and type in the following formula. Nice. Copy the function to the other cells and sales per product are ready. For example, if I select February from B9, then the total sales for Windows product are 150, which is correct, etc. Now click at Calculations Worksheet and highlight the C3 cell. We will associate this cell with the corresponding cell of the dashboard worksheet. So type in equal and go to the dashboard sheet and click O3. Then click enter. Now copy the formula all the way down. Next highlight the C8 cell. We will calculate the average of total sales. Type in equal average parenthesis, then go to the dashboard sheet and highlight O3 to O6 cell and close parenthesis. Based on the average sales, we will create a range of two prices, a low and a high. If the sales of the product are lower than the low price of the rates, then we have a red light. If they are between low and high price range, then we have a yellow light. And if they are greater of the high price range, then we have a green light. Let's type low and high range in these cells to separate them. To calculate the low range, highlight C9 and multiply the average sales with 80% or 0.8. To calculate the high range, highlight C10 and multiply the average sales with 120% or 1.2. Now let's create the traffic lights starting from D3. First we will create the formula for red lights. We will use the function if, like this, equal if parenthesis C3 less or equal than C9 with absolute reference comma double quotes equal sign double quotes again comma and double quotes two times close parenthesis and press enter so if the sales of Windows product are lower than the low price of the range, then switch on the red light. We use the symbol equal because we will convert it later to a bullet. Also we use absolute reference because we want to lock cells C9 and C10 when we copy them. Ok, copy the formula through all of the cells and change the font color to red. Now let's move to E3 cell for yellow lights and type equal if parenthesis C3 less than C10 with absolute reference comma 
if parentheses again c3 greater than c9 with absolute reference comma double quotes equal double quotes again comma double quotes two times close parentheses comma double quotes two times again and close the last parenthesis let's explain it because it's a bit tricky if windows sales are less than high price range and greater than low price range then type equal otherwise type blank copy the formula through all cells and change the font color to yellow let's finish with cell f3 and green lights type equal if parenthesis c3 greater or equal than c10 with absolute reference comma double quotes equal double quotes again comma and double quotes two times close parenthesis and press enter so if the sales of windows are greater than the high price of the range then switch on the green lights copy the formula through all cells and change the font color to green to convert equal symbol into a bullet select the cells from d3 to f6 and choose webdings fonts and we are ready as you can see now we return back to the worksheet dashboard we will start to design our dashboard first of all insert the image of an empty traffic light you can download the image from this lecture and from download resources on the top right of your screen i give you two images to choose from let's insert this image but we have four products so we need four traffic lights copy the image and paste it three times nice place the traffic lights like this if you want you can select all the images and align them in the middle let's continue below each traffic light we can add a title from insert tab and saves select routing rectangle copy and paste it three times align them and add the title for each of them like this okay we are ready we'll do some formatting now decrease the width of a and p column and decrease also the height of row one Copy the cells B2 to B6 into cells B19 to B23. Filling with a grey color the cells ranging from B7 to O18. Filling with a dark grey color the following cell ranges A1 to P1. A1 to A24 P1 to P24 and A24 to P24 It's better to remove the grid lines from view tab Very nice now is the trickiest part of our dashboard. We have to find a way 
where the bullets of the calculation worksheet appear into the empty traffic lights of the dashboard worksheet and in the right order. For this purpose, we will use the Excel camera tool. If you want to add it in Quick Analysis tool, click the down arrow, select more commands, and from the new window, go to choose commands from option, then select all commands, find the camera tool, and press that button. You will press OK and you will ready. I will cancel it because I already have the Excel camera tool. Go back to calculation sheet and highlight the cell D3. Click on camera. Return to dashboard sheet and click somewhere there. Highlight it and remove the picture border from the format tab. Remove also the fill color from the home tab. Now increase the size of the light to fit exactly inside the empty space of the first traffic light. Now copy the light, paste it two times and move them uh, there. We have to fill in the other three traffic lights. So in order to do it quickly, we can highlight all of them with shift key, copy and paste three times. Place them exactly in the gaps. Keep in mind that each bullet is connected with a corresponding cell. With that being said, if you click on the first light, you can see the formula from the formula bar. So we have to change all the lights with the correct cells. Let's get started. Click the first light and check from formula bar if it's correct. So the red light from Windows product is correct. If we go back to calculation worksheet and see the exact cells will do exactly the same steps with the other uh, lights. Now it's time to create sparkline charts. Let's first do some formatting. With the help of the control key, merge the cell ranges from C20 to F20, C21 to F21, C22 to F22, and C23 to F23. From the home tab, click merge and set their button. Good. In exactly the same way merge the cells ranging from H20 to K20 and so on. Ok, let's continue now. Highlight cell C20 and from insert tab click on the line spark line. A new dialog box appears. The data range is, is from C3 to N3. The location range is C20. Ok, and the first park line chart is ready. Do quickly the other three. H20 cell and this time select column spark lines. Fill in the correct information into the dialog box and press OK.
Do exactly the same with other products. We managed to create a really impressive sales dashboard with traffic lights and spark lines. These techniques can be used on any dashboard. It was a bit of a tricky video tutorial, but I think it was worthwhile. Feel free to download the template and use it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please post a comment and I will answer as soon as possible. Thank you!